Hello everyone, this is Chris here. So this is the Cladney pattern of mode 1. And this is going to be the second experiment. And so what I've done is I've outlined the pattern in chalk. So I have its location marked after I remove the sand. So what I'm going to be doing for this experiment is I'm going to be planing material off that corner over there and this corner. And I'm going to be attempting to make the Cladney pattern larger, which means uh, probably that the um, the frequency will need will need to be lower as well. I'm thinking it'll lower the frequency. And so I'll be doing that by removing this material of the panel and making the ribs, removing material off the ribs. So after I make those alterations, I'll turn the camera back on and get back to you. And then we'll turn it on for the first time and see if the pattern changes and see if the resonant frequency is lower. So be right back. So here's 43 hertz with the sand on it. So far it's looking like the planing of the panel alone did no good at all. It looks uh, pretty much identical to me. Alright, so because I'm doing this on my phone, I can't adjust the hertz while I have the camera on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, look for if another hertz makes it move more, and then I'll turn the camera back on. Alright, so here's what happened with experiment number two. Uh, as you know, I th said earlier, I thinned down this part and I thinned down that corner. And I just thinned the panel. And I took, like I said, I took about a one gallon bucket and, and that would be enough shavings. They're over there. And so I turned it on 43 hertz and obviously it didn't have the same resonance that it did before. So I had to search for the other frequency and it turned out it was one hertz lower at 42. So here I lowered the frequency but it didn't change the Cladney pattern. The pattern is roughly right where those black lines are where they were originally. It's basically the same. I was kind of hoping that the Cladney pattern would get larger, but it didn't. So by taking material off the panel, all it did was lower the board's frequency, in this case 1 hertz. So that's kind of a surprising uh, conclusion. So I guess we'll uh, have to think of another experiment. Alright, thanks for watching.